here. I gotta ride shoddy till I get to where I'm getting. Ride shoddy, bumping this beat, you heard? Shirt tight, tight, night. Gertz. I'ma shout y'all out when I get to where I'm getting your skins. like this. I got a I got a hook for this already. This shit is hard. in on shit like this. Hit me up and tell me you want to get on this beat. Mother. Yeah, bro. 
You need that, you need that Z-Boy collab? Queen Lotus was popping. You need that Z-Boy collab? Listen, I'm sitting on beats like this, you heard? Black male was popping, no gas TV, what up? Larry Lopez was really good. I could sit down and write a 16 to this right now in 10 minutes. That's my word. That LAZ collab, man, holla at me, man. I'm sitting on beats like this, man. You heard B more was popping. Beat is too dip set it out. Dipped out, Lord. In 918. This shit hard too. I ain't even gonna hold you like a I ain't even gonna hold you like a newborn baby in a delivery room. This shit go hard. Now keep left, then keep left. them heat rocks but these heat rocks is for niggas who really spit bars i don't know what niggas be doing out here today but this for niggas who really rap if you can't really rap you ain't you not gonna survive on a beat like this i'm gonna keep it real with you nigga gotta really rap Spaceships. Stop, baby. <laughs> I'll, I'll be talking. 
talking very disrespectful on this. In 500 feet, turn right. Now turn right. Turn slight left. Man, hurt. If you a rapper out there and you want to put that work in, I got them heat rocks, man. You know what I mean? And these is, trust me, bro, this ain't the stash. This ain't the stash. If I go in the stash, it's another over dip set beat, man. Dip, you dipped out, baby. Dipped out producer. Damn, how many beats I got from this nigga in here? What the fuck was going on? You sent me 400. I like a producer that send send some heavy beats though. I don't like nigga send one beat. Nigga send one beat like yo man, I need you to kill this. You be like, bro, listen. I need to hear the archive, nigga, and pick out two out of a hundred. All right, bro. All right, bro. You got too many beats, bro. This shit right here go hard. This a simple ass, but this shit just go hard. Ass beat. Hey. 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 I walking down the street looking like a newspaper. Like, nigga, it's dark, late. And walking down the street with his kid and his wife looking like they came from a graduation or some type of birthday celebration. Nigga, get your ass in the house with your kids in the streets this late walking the streets. You ain't hear how many motherfucking kids done got hit by a straight bullet this year, nigga? I wish the fuck my kids would be outside 11 p.m. at night. Nigga, my kids in the crib, nigga. Wish the fuck I would be strolling through the streets of a wild hood my 10 year old daughter at 11 30 like nah lord you trying to give you trying to be a newspaper clipping nigga take your ass to the house call a cab and get your asses to the house trying to get rich so that I could just give myself a 30 day vacation in a studio locked in until I come out with like four albums. Word up. That's a vacation, my nigga. But a nigga could just go to a luxury studio. You heard? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a brand shit like that. Luxury studios. You feel me? That shit fly as fuck. You going up there, cord, nigga, you chilling, man. Food, drink, weed, that's it. No disturbances. Phone off, man. 
phone off and I'm coming there with an archive of like a hundred of my favorite beats. Straight up, I'm gonna narrow it down to my top hundred beats that I got in my computers. Bring that shit through, bring my team through, call my whole team. Probably call niggas week by week. Like, yo, this week I'm gonna have to be in the studio with these niggas. Next week, these niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up, bro. Just marinating the motherfucking studio. Get a good engineer that's nasty. And just bang out, nigga. Bang out all day long. Turn your lights on, my bro, for you mow down an old lady. Yeah. I already bodied this right here. Woo -wee. I bodied that shit so badly. I felt sorry. I had to apologize to the producer. I said, yo, listen, bro, let me talk to you a second. Now, man, I just want to apologize like a man for what I did to your beat. You heard? I murdered that shit. Beat that shit all up in the studio. I was acting dumb on that. I'm going to keep it real with you. Dumb. This shit is hard right here. This beat is called Little Italy. This shit is hard. This shit's some mob, mafia mob shit. Uh, I love, I love, I love like that horn sound. No man, she got like a drowned out horn. I had another beat like this before. This shit right here, this drowned out horn. Some straight, uh, 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 I'll spit some straight motherfucking, um, um, once upon a time in America bars on this, nigga. You heard? It's that noodles, that's the noodles bars and all of that. Crazy shot I missed at this train, man. Damn, Lord. That's why, man, you when you a filmmaker, you gotta have that camera running 24 hours. 24-7. Damn, my nigga. I'm mad I missed this shit, man. Shit black, man. I know he wasn't sitting there thinking you was getting this parking spot. <laughs> nigga, you be sitting there for four years waiting for me to come out this shit. Damn, baby. Damn, baby. Fuck that. Hold on. Where my motherfucking shit at? Where my shit at? Hold on. 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 Shit crazy. Appreciate that donation, my brother. Appreciate that. Be more in the building. B Town, you already know what it is. Damn, bro. It's the longest train I've ever seen in my life. scary when a train is that long like what type of shit is on there like I'm bugging out this shit is ridiculous bro The train is still going, bro. This is unbelievable. This 
Speed is hard. Now y'all gotta see that chain on my. I'm gonna put that on my arm. Um, I'm gonna put that in my shorts, bro. Y'all gonna be bugging how long this. Shit. William Ross was popping. Zaza Zo was really good. Don Juan Motor was really. Bryce Smith was popping. Jason F and J, Captain Dex, appreciate that donation, bro. You already snow. Freddie Acevedo was populating. This beat in the background is hard. Real talk. That ain't no bullshit. But yeah, man, Dennis Borgens was popping. I mean, Dennis Borges was populating, my bro. JP, do you with that blow up dog, bro? Let me know how that was. You heard? YG TV was really good. Will Castro was popping. Yo, if you're a rapper out there, Larry Lopez was popping. Ernie Brown was really hood. Abdul Shakur was really. V Tantry, what up? Yeah, man, if y'all, if you, if you rap out there, you really want to get it in, let's get it in, my nigga, because I get it in. You heard? I get it in. I'm seeing another squad of uh, chicks, a child outside. Mm -hmm. Keep your heads in the motherfucking house after nine o'clock, nigga. In the summertime in New York after eight o'clock, nigga. Seven o'clock. Keep your kids in the motherfucking house. Don't be walking through the streets. These young bros, these little twenty-year-old one bros, AK Barrel, appreciate that donation, my bro. Know what I mean, like, yo, listen, these little twenty-year-old chicks and all of that. Know what I mean, you you got a baby by one of these you young niggas. Got a baby by one of these little young 21 year old chicks and all of that. Let them know. Don't be having my motherfucking kid in the streets at 11 30 at night at a barbecue. You heard? Niggas that have your fucking baby at a, a fucking barbecue in front of a nigga building at three in the morning. You heard? Like, I mean, then when somebody gets shot, niggas boo hooing and all of that. Like, nigga, keep my motherfucking kid from in front of niggas' buildings. Niggas fucking with the grill in front of the building. Like, Keep my motherfucking kid from off the block, nigga. You heard? I don't invite my kids. In a, I don't invite my kids to barbecues and cookouts and shit. That now that I'm older, I look back on them like, nigga, what the fuck was wrong with me? Taking my kid, having my kid out 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I mean, we had a barbecue and shit. Like, negative, nigga. I ain't with none of that shit, nigga. That's why I'm happy I ain't got no kids with no stupid broads like that, man. I mean, I know young kids with no stupid broads, man. Because if you got my motherfucking kid out in them streets at 11.30 at night, I'm going to put hands and feet on something. Something going to get Marvel versus Capcom street fighted out, my nigga. I ain't playing no games. You have my motherfucking kid out. I mean, niggas be having your kids around some loud ass music and shit. Shit be blowing your kids, kids' eardrums out. We ain't doing that, man. Man, on Mac was populating. I see you flagging that gym. The room podcast was really good. Keys was really good. Miguel Medina was popping. Gaming was really. Shit, yeah, man. Bryce Smith was popping. 702 in the building. But shit, yeah, man. Niggas be having your kids outside, man. Niggas be having a drunk fight. Niggas be having your kids outside while niggas having a drunk fight on the block. Like, nah, nigga, we ain't doing none of that. You know what I mean? Niggas having, niggas, nigga scrapping out with his baby mother at the barbecue. Your kids standing there watching all of that shit. Man, nah, Lord. Don't have my kid outside at all, nigga. Don't have my kid outside at all. All right, man. Let me roll up this little slim blunt gang right quick. Smoke a little blunt with y'all niggas right quick. Then I'm out of here. I ain't gonna keep y'all on here all night. You heard? Smoke my little weed, man. 
smoke my little weed, man. I'm going to start playing music on live, too. These niggas copyright. I don't care because, you know, I'm on some band for live shit, too. You know what I mean? All these, all the, any live that get too spicy, that shit going to be on my Patreon. Some of these lives be too out of control. Some of these shits, I want to play music, man. These niggas want copyright flags and all of that. Man, I want to play some music. Where's my weed at? My tune on satellite radio. I think they dead at that shit already, man. That shit is whack, man. I was getting used to that little Tupac. I was getting used to that Tupac channel, nigga. I was listening to that joint the day. When time goes by, I'm crazy. I feel crazy. That shit right there used to have me up north, nigga. And back of the album, that shit had me up. Then that shit just come on. Being a woman, a black woman at that, in this white man world, that shit crazy, nigga. This got me twisted up in prison. I miss you. Crying. Acting like a piece of shit. I ain't gonna turn my Wi Fi off, see if it stops. But she acting like a piece of shit. I ain't going through it tonight, man. I just call it one. See y'all niggas tomorrow, because I ain't gonna be going through shit reconnecting 400 times and all of that, man. Listen, man. I give you a rest, you two. You heard? I get a lot of rest, man. I'm just parked up on it. On a dark block anyway. I just seen a nigga go past with a true religion shirt on. You heard you see a nigga with a true religion shirt on in 2022. You might want to be on point. You heard? Nigga still rocking that true true in 2222. That nigga out here ready to buck something. You heard? Gotta be on point. Nigga ready to book something, fucking with that true true. <laughs> yeah, I wrote this slim blizzy. Luis Mendez was populating. Rico Shards was really good. You already snow. Facts and Slim Sklunt Gang is definitely in the building. You heard? Word up. Word up. Facts, my nigga. I see you spitting them classic last bars. Them classic last bars that I don't even be knowing. You heard? My blood dub slip, nigga. I shit on Attica Yard. You heard? Blunt on Augensburg, nigga. Slim blunt for real, nigga. You heard? My shit be jail status in the streets. You heard? Jail, nigga, for real, nigga. Bloods be slim. Shit on Clinton Annex. You heard? Bareface pizza was really good. Facts. Tune into that VMB, man. 12 o'clock, man. My nigga Ralph McDaniels. Always got the most classic show on the planet Earth at 12 o'clock. Video music box. You heard? Video music box. Hey, video music box. Ho, video music box. Hey. Remember, niggas used to do that back in the days on video music box. It's like, video music box. Hey, video music box. Ho. Now, If y'all niggas wasn't watching that VMB, I don't know what y'all was watching, my lord. Feel sorry for niggas who ain't grow up off that video music box, man. You a different type of human being when you grew up on that video music box. You heard? But I guess every city and state got their, you know, local video show that's fire. Video music box was the one that started the mall, though, baby. I must say. You heard? I must say, baby. Ooh, them shackies. Them shackies is serious, my nigga. Them shackies is serious, Lord. Let's keep it on it. Baby starving, raising sharp and coke in the A apartment. But I said 13 spray of marksmen. Niggas dark and niggas dark and lives have no. I forgot what I said on that. Through the 
sometimes barking nines, some Carlton Hines. I said some things on that. It's a deep issue, slugs or the spell. I forgot what I said on that. Let me just be quiet, Lord. Fucking up my own bars. You heard? Fucking up my own bars. Never let streets get you. It's a deep issue. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You heard? I'm the type of dude, man. I don't wrote so many rhymes. I can't. When niggas be like, yo, son, spit some shit. I'll be like, nigga, I done wrote 5,000 rhymes. Like, I just write them shit, spit them, and, and forget them. Write them, spit them, and forget them, my nigga. Yeah. Dawn's Dynasty was really good. Jesus Crisis was populating my league. Roni was populating. Yeah, but I got the beats, man. I mean, you want to get in. We could get in a video, too. You ain't even got to be in New York to get into it. If you nice, you ain't. I'm nice with the editing. You heard? Peace. Peace to the God. Canarsie was populating. You could be elsewhere out the state. We could still do a video. All you got to do is send me your video footage, some 1080 footage. And that's it, bro. I'll blend that shit into the video and edit that shit. Nigga won't even know that you ain't with me in the video. That's how nice I am on that editing, bro. Yep. So, you want to do a song and video with me? If you nice, holla at me, nigga. We get the song and the video in. You send me the video footage. That's all you need to do. I'm going to handle everything else. You heard? I've done it many of times. With niggas in London... Niggas all over the place, know what I mean? Niggas be like, yo, but I'm in London. Nigga, send me that footage, nigga. Let me show you what I do. I don't care where you at, Lord. Send me that footage. Watch me get it in. Shout out to my bro, Tony Gore. Rest in peace, my nigga, Tony Gore, man. Me and son put like three videos down like that. Shit, this is all classics, you heard? Word up. I got the super light. I got the light that do about a hundred different, different lightings. Word up. I slightly remember Cyber Tech. I don't know. I don't think I was rocking it though. But I remember that. Yeah, man. Shout out to my nigga Presh. Shout out to my nigga Pressure from the Ville, from Howard. That's my bro. Me and son got one of them, the most legendary video. <clears throat> raised in the Ville, you heard? Ooh, we, that Raised in the Ville video, that shit got some good, good legends that's no longer with us no more. It's in that video, nigga. That shit is legendary already. You heard? That shit got some legendary people from Brownsville. From Howard, that's no longer with us, nigga. Go watch that Raised in the Ville video. Whew, that shit is deep. Raised in the Ville. That song is ignorant, man, but it's hard, man. I'm from the same building as Boo Bear. We will get loose here. Oh, yeah. I forgot what the fuck I said. Most projects in America. V Town. Most violence in America. Yeah, man. Fat vegetarian, man. It's rough for the fat veg right now. It's rough, baby. It's rough, baby. But things are soon to change, baby. We about to expand. You heard? New York, L.A., Chicago. You heard? Tales from the Pen was populating my broski. See you in the building. Yes, sir. 
City Flinger was really good. Jesus Christ, that's what up, bro. It's up the hill, you feel me? That's up the hill, baby. I'm from down the hill, baby. That's up the hill. I'm from down the hill, baby. 1090 Body TV, which populated. Which pop. Nowadays, chicks don't know, have none of these chicks own shoes no more. Like, all these chicks wear sneakers now, my nigga. Like, I be liking to see a good shoe on a woman every once in a while. You heard? I don't always want to see no sneak. I don't want to see no Jordans and, I mean, bras running around your feet looking niggerish, man. Like, I don't like chicks with niggerish looking feet, man. Like, running around, ah, my nigga. But you about to go play some basketball? You about to go play run a full court? My nigga, I don't want to see that, my nigga. Go throw some good shoes on or something, man. Some good boots on or something, man. Yours? Tired of that, tired of that sneaker shit, man. I, I mean, I know sneakers done took over the game now, so motherfuckers wearing sneakers to work and all type of shit. So I ain't knocking niggas for wearing sneakers. You know, I like sneakers on the chick too, but but I do like to see a, a a good shoe every once in a while, good hard bottom shoe. And on kids, forget about it, my nigga. Like, got got to throw them good shoes on your kids' feet, man, or they they feet gonna be looking wild, man. You don't want your little petite daughter. She got the Shaquille O'Neal's because you ain't do you ain't throw nothing on her feet but soft ass leather cheap sneakers like you ain't never throw no hard bottom strong you know what I mean strong good shit keep her shit nice and intact you heard I ain't with that man but nah this is sneakers done took over everything now man you can't even. Niggas wearing them shits to work with a suit, nigga, like this with some Jordans. That shit acceptable. Straight up. Zeno East, man. A lot of y'all dudes is in here showing love to my music lately. I don't know what's going on, man. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but I'm just getting mad music love lately. Like, major shit is going down. Like, it's some funny shit. The universe is a funny motherfucking place, bro. Like, this shit make me pop off with this YouTube shit. And then my music gonna pop off after all this time. When I done gave up on that shit. Like, I'm good, nigga. I'm good. I make that shit out my... my I make that shit out on my leisure time now. Because I ain't busting my braid and having a stroke. That rap shit will make you have a stroke, nigga. Straight up. You be, you be in the mic, try to fucking make a hit song. Nigga, you done made 30 hit songs. You just ain't got the money to pop off the way you supposed to pop off. Nigga, that's all it is. My man. That rap shit would give a nigga a heart attack, though, so I had to get away from that shit for a minute. Now I just make songs. Like, I just laid a new joint down. That shit nuts, nigga. That shit nuts. I just laid a new joint down. Shout out to the bro Ayatollah. I mean, niggas think I ain't doing that Ayatollah album, nigga. That shit almost finished, nigga. I'm just taking my time because I promise you, my nigga, I need the perfect beats. I decided I'm keeping that shit seven songs, the God number. From now on, every album I put out, that shit going to be seven songs, man. God number, man. That's it, man. Hold that God down. Hold that God down because the type of shit that I'm putting out, the type of music I'm going to put out, that shit going to be godly. But right now, I got... um. I got a, uh, I'm what you need. That's a song finished. I got a joint with me and my nigga Foul called R-A-W. That's finished. I got another joint that I just laid down called um, <clears throat> Rich Life. That's finished. It's just one verse because the beat is so phenomenal. I just don't even want people. I don't want to be redundant. You know how sometimes a sample is so crazy. You don't want to be redundant with it. You want to let it get in and get out because it's so crazy. You don't want people to get tired of it. So I kept that shit just one good solid verse. You heard it. And that's going on the album. That's called Rich Life. That's finished. That's that's fire. So that's three joints finished. Then my nigga Bucker got to get on this joint. Um, back of the slum. This shit called the back of the slum. That's going to be four joints done. I'm currently right into another joint right now called, um, what's that shit called? Um, 
beautiful. You feel what I'm saying? That's a hard beat to write to. I already got a verse, though. I got to write another verse. It don't really take me. Only time I, it's gonna take me long to write a song is when I'm when it's when it's a female orientated song, and I want to say every single bar perfectly. When it's street shit, I write street shit in ten minutes. But when it's time to put together like a real single for chicks, I take my sweet ass time. You heard? So I got some shit cooking up, my nigga. But I'm gonna keep it real. I need two. I got I got a bunch of Ayatollah beats that's bananas, but they not for this album. They not for this particular project. So I need two other different beats that's stupid. You heard? The other fire is fire that's going to get used. But for this particular seven songs, I need every song to, to have a whole different life in that shit. You heard? Shit crazy, bro. So yeah, man. Know what I mean? I've been on my music shit lately, you heard? Nah, man, I ain't gonna lie, that shit, that rich life is just a good 16, my nigga. But it's it's so, it's so epic. It's so epic. It's, it's just, it's just crazy. It's like an interlude, you feel what I'm saying? It's like an interlude. Like, you know how sometimes a nigga on an album just spit a verse to a crazy beat? Sometimes you gotta tease your audience like that. You feel me? Sometimes you gotta do, gotta hurt your audience soul like that. Like, scare them niggas a verse over the craziest beat ever that they could hear for 10 minutes in a row if they wanted to. And you just spit one verse and cut that shit off. You wanna hear that beat again? Take that song back. Sometimes you gotta do that, man. You feel me? But like I said, sometimes a sample is so crazy that you don't really want to let that shit rock for more than a minute and a half. Like, just let it rock for a minute and a half. It'll stamp into everybody's brain and then move on. You feel me? But yeah, I got some heat on that shit, my nigga. On that, on that Lazatola, I got some heat on that. And I'm going to get a stupid wild cover. I'm going to get a stupid, wild, futuristic 2025 cover. Mm -hmm. Eve was populating. Ramo was really good. Now, nah, Lazatola is being put together right now, my nigga. Lazatola is getting put together. And it's just very spicy right now, you heard? But like I said, I just laid down another song. Know what I mean? Laid down a new song. I'm writing another song right now. You know, I don't have nowhere near as much time to write rhymes as I used to since this YouTube channel popped off. And let me check and make sure they ain't approve an episode because I wanted to drop an episode tonight. But you know YouTube be acting like... They be acting funny on the weekends, man. They don't be wanting to approve shit on the weekends, man. Let me see. Nope, they still ain't approving new episode. You bastards. I got a whole damn near hour new episode that's waiting to drop right now. That shit probably ain't going to get approved to Monday. And if Monday is the 4th, oh, Lord. Who knows when that shit will get, get approved, you heard? Stopping up, slowing up my guapery, man. I gotta stop slowing up my my guaparelli like that. Uh, YouTube, you hurt. I'm trying to make money out here, my bro. Real core was really good. Yeah, man. Making sure that nigga with that true religion shirt ain't running up on me, my nigga. You see a nigga with that true religion shirt on in 2022. He got the ham on him. You heard? So equivalent of when you see a nigga back in the days with a triple fat goose turned inside out with all of the gooses showing. That nigga coming for that guap, nigga. So you better be on point. He gonna rob something. You heard? Same thing with a nigga wearing a good true religion shirt right now. He out to get it. I mean, he out to book something. So you gotta be on point. You heard? <clears throat> yeah, man. True religion, man. Them niggas, man. She. I remember, 
man, remember them niggas ran the whole game like that. It's it's scary what happened with true religion. Like, god damn, y'all niggas could be that big and then not be that big? Like, wow. So we gotta be careful with brands, man. That's why, you know, my Brooklyn ass, man, I'll be sticking to that low low. Lolo ain't never going nowhere, baby. It ain't never going to happen with Lolo. You heard? Lolo going to survive through the drought, man. You know what I mean? Lolo going to survive through the drought. Motherfucking uh, uh, Nike is going to survive through the droughts. But some of these joints, some of these niggas ain't going to survive. We've seen a lot of them come and go. True religion, Evizu. Evizu, we seen nigga, we seen shit come and go. Not saying that them niggas still don't do numbers, but they just don't do numbers the way they used to do. You feel what I'm saying? But we seen some shit come up and come down. Out of this bitch is amazing. It's amazing. Red monkeys, remember red monkeys? Remember when everybody you wasn't that nigga unless you had a pair of red monkeys on? Them shits, them shits disappeared off the earth. Then Evizus. It's like, nigga, you ain't got that swirly line on that pocket, nigga. You ain't doing it. You heard? If you ain't got the swirly line. <laughs> nigga said S. Carter's. What's that shit, Dame Dash? What's that shit, Dame Dash? The niggas had on CEOs. Niggas, rap was getting out of control for a minute, man. Niggas, was, too many niggas had to sneak out. Like, that shit started getting ignorant. Things like, yo, what up, son? You got them ditties on? Nah, these the Dame Dashes. Nah, these the S. Dot Carters. These the Ludacrises. Like, nah, my nigga. Shit started getting a little crazy, man. Or academics, man. That shit, woo wee. Academics, that shit took a hit. That shit took a hit. Boo, boo, blue. I came in Macy's one time. They had that shit in the bathroom. You heard? See yo, we're the academic sec section now. They see yo, that shit in the bathroom now. You heard? <laughs> Let me stop. I'm just fucking with you academics. I had some I was rocking that academics, my nigga. So they moved y'all into the bathroom on Macy's. I was like, yo, I can't fuck with this shit no more. You heard? Sean John too, man. Y'all niggas was in the dress. Y'all niggas <laughs> Sean John for a minute, for a hot minute. Niggas had that nigga in the dressing room. The fitting room. You heard? I'm like, damn, they doing my son dirty at Rockefeller too. Let's keep it a hundred. We love you. We love you, Rockefeller. But for a minute there, niggas had y'all niggas in, in the niggas had Rockefeller in the motherfucking fitting room in Macy's. You heard? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga was going up in there. This niggas wasn't fucking with them long sleeve Rockaway shirts with the Rockaway. Niggas wasn't fucking with none of that, son. That shit was. Shit was three cash for a whole sweatsuit, you heard? Niggas was like, check, get to the checkout with that shit. They be like, oh, plus this shit is 40% off plus 80% off. You be like, what? Like, yeah. I mean, for a minute, it was the only Brooklyn niggas, man. The only Brooklyn niggas was still rocking Rockaway, man. Niggas like me. I was doing videos. I still had Rockaway on. I know Uptown niggas was like, look at this motherfucker right here with Rockaway on. You heard? I know uptown niggas was judging me. My uptown niggas and all that that I was up north with, they was judging me seeing me in them videos with that Rockaway on, nigga. They was like, yo, son. Niggas hit my line. Yo, son, yo, yo, I love you, son, but you know what I mean? You got to stop rocking that Rockaway, son. That shit is out, son. That shit done faded out, son. I'm like, all right, son. You know, I'm from Brooklyn, though, son, so sometimes I go in Macy's, I see that good, crispy Rockaway hoodie. I just can't help myself, son. You heard? I get the jeans and the hoodie to match. Like, I'm back in the streets with it. Like, you heard? It's like, you know that nigga Jay don't own that shit no more, son. Jay sold that. They sold it, son. You got to stop fucking with the eyes, son. Nigga still fall victim. Pop out with a state property hoodie. Like, yo, now nah, they had this shit. I mean, this shit was 30% off, son. State property joint shit was hard, though. Shit got a pocket for a knife. Shit got a knife pocket in it Like I mean Niggas was getting crazy With clothing lines For a minute After For a little minute Look Rock J Fucked the game up son J had everybody Dropping the clothing line Son Shit was getting A little bit crazy My nigga You had Nas What was that shit That nigga Nas 
<laughs> what's that shit Nas had? Um, what the fuck was that shit Nas had? You know what I mean? Oh, man. Yo, nah, niggas was wilding out here, son. But mad niggas had clothing lines, my nigga, cash money. <laughs> Willie Esco. Niggas had Willie Esco. Niggas was getting crazy. Niggas was getting crazy, son. Niggas had state property. I got a video where I did the whole video in a state property sweatsuit on. You heard? My budget for the video shoot was extra low. You heard? My shit was extra low. I had about honey. You heard? I had about a cold honey for the whole wardrobe of the video. I had to just settle with that state property sweatsuit. You heard? Just caught that good SP. You know what I mean? That shit was thick. All type of excess materials on that shit. You heard? I was rocking that shit like that shit was a Nike Tech. But nah, man. I had that state P, though. I mean, I got some good videos, some good state P on, some good rock away on, you know, keeping it real. I mean, keeping it real, Lord. I don't know about no Nietzsche. I don't know if I did a Nietzsche, man. I got to gotta check the records. I got to check the archives, man, because I was never really, I wasn't fucking with that. In Nietzsche, that really was NYC. It really was NYC. But people in the ignorant hood just started calling that shit Inichi, my nigga. Like it was a, a, a Italian designer. You heard that shit was NYC. It was a New York City gate uh joint. Niggas started calling that shit Inichi. And then Inichi, the, the company itself was like, yeah, you know what? We are Inichi. You heard? Then them niggas ran with that shit. Yeah, you didn't get this Inichi sweatsuit. You heard? Yeah, man. Some of that shit I wasn't fucking with, though, Lord. I'm going to keep it real with you, Lord. I mean, I had a couple of iceberg joints. I was late in the game, man. I was late, man. I was hurting. I was broken, fucked up when iceberg was popping. I mean, I was scratching and trying to get up some iceberg. I mean, I had some little corny flimsy shirts and shit, little corny iceberg tees and all of that, man. It just was corny, man. You heard I thought I was doing it, though. You couldn't tell me I wasn't doing it when I got my hands on my first little iceberg t-shirt. I mean, I was happy, nigga. Then I got a little iceberg zip-up hoodie. I was like, okay, I'm out here doing it. You heard? Looking dumb, dusty with that shit on, though. I'm going to keep it real. Nigga was looking dusty with that shit on. I had a good pair of sevens. I had a couple of good pair of sevens. I ain't even going to hold you. I mean... Had a good couple of sevens, you heard? Sevens for all mankind, for fact. I had, I had, when those was popping, I had mine, got my hands on a couple of those. Yours, yours, I ain't even gonna lie. I mean, Joey Krills was populating my bra. I see you in the building. Like a broom closet was really good. Yeah, man, you know. Like, you know, some shit was Brooklyn and some shit was Uptown, man. You know what I mean? Some niggas, was, some some shit was straight uptown status. You heard? And some shit was straight Brooklyn status. Like I remember when only Brooklyn wore champion like that. Like niggas ain't fuck with champion. Niggas used to be like, yo, that's some bum Brooklyn shit, champion. That champion just made a mad comeback. You know what I mean? Now they starting to look a little wild again. I don't know, man. I boy got some good champion, but sometimes y'all be getting a little crazy, champ. <clears throat> y'all be getting a little crazy with y'all designs, champ. I can't be wearing champion sneakers and shit like that, though. Niggas, niggas took it all the way there. When champion came back out, niggas took it. Niggas was rocking champion sneakers in the streets again. I was like, oh, shit. You couldn't wear no champion sneakers back in the days. Niggas would chase you out the veil or something like that. You come through with a pair of champion sneakers on. You heard? Yeah, I was looking at them Iversons the other day, man. <clears throat> it's only like one, one pair that I really, really fuck with. You know what I mean? But them shits is hard, though. I ain't gonna hold you. And Grand Hills is hard, too. Somebody was arguing with me the other day telling me Grand Hills ain't official. I was like, I was like, nah, man. The original Grand Hills, the original, the first and the second ones. Them shits was hard in the regular colors. All them other weird colors, I don't know about that. 
But the original Grant Hills, them shits was hard, my nigga. You heard? Fox with those. <laughs> Y'all naming some brands that... I don't know, I was locked up for some of them brands, though. Some of them brands I was in a can for, you heard? So I ain't too familiar with those. <clears throat> but nah, champ, see, back in the days, champion was the shit. Like, back in Brooklyn in the early 90s, like... You know, it was a it was a point in time where a regular champion, the regular champion tees with the pocket with the champion on the side, them shits was official. Those was the official t-shirts in the Ville at one point at one point in time. And them conehead champion hoodies. If you ain't have a conehead, it was you wasn't New Yorked out if you ain't have a champion conehead hoodie. You heard? That's at one point, that's all niggas was rocking. If you ain't have a cone head, you was looking crazy. If you came outside with the champion hoodie that didn't have the cone head, that was the equivalent of having Tim's with no leather upper. Niggas be like, yo, son, you got a non cone head on. You might, niggas might pop on you or something. You heard? You hit the block with a non cone head, niggas might just steal off on you out of nowhere. You heard? Hey, what's up with this nigga hoodie, man? This is round and shit, nigga. It's New York, nigga. Your hoodie round. What's going on? Niggas just steal off and bing, bong, bing. The fuck is you doing out here with that round hoodie? My niggas might think you the police. You come you come up the block with a round hoodie on. Straight up. I told y'all niggas about my Jabot game, man. I had every color Jabot. I had every color Jabot the company made, nigga. I had colors the nigga wasn't supposed to be wearing because, you know, they had some weird shit like orange with purple stripes. I had them all, my nigga. They was bugging. You know, it was the 90s. We was bugging out. We was bugging out with them colors in the 90s because I had orange jabos. You know, I was running around with purple and orange jabos on, like, with a with a, with a with a with a orange Tommy Hilfiger button-up, like, wowing. You heard? With a purple Jan Sport. Shit was different in 9, 2, and 3 and all of that, man. Straight up. Yeah, car hush is... Car hush is serious too, man. Especially the black car heart. The black car heart jacket? That shit is classic, nigga. The all black car heart jacket and the red one. Shit is hard. Mm -hmm. Parasucos, man. I don't know about those. <laughs> I don't know about them souks, man. I guess I guess it was a time where I was locked up when the Parasucos was doing it. But I know when I came home from the can, them Parasucos was on the way out to a point where niggas was... You couldn't really get caught with a pair of souks on. Niggas be like, I nigga got on some souks or broad. He be like, yo, what she, what she got on? Parasucos. Nah, Lord. This is over for those. You heard? Chicks was popping up with them sucos on. It was it was looking different. And in the Ville, we, in the Ville, we wasn't accepting Paco, man. If we caught a nigga with some Pacos on, man, niggas had jokes, man. He's like, well, son, you got on the Pacos? Ah, son. I don't know. I can't speak for every project, but in my projects, we wasn't fucking with them Pacos, my nigga. Them Takis? He wasn't fucking with those. Nigga came through with them Pacos. He was acting like, what's up, my nigga? What's, what you doing with those? <coughs> you hurt? Nah, I ain't never fuck with no mountain gears. I'm gonna keep it real. I ain't never fuck with no mountain gears, my nigga. You know what I mean? If niggas caught you with a pair of mountain gears on, my nigga, niggas had all type of jokes. Pepe's had their little time, and then Pepe's was out the window, too. We caught you with a pair of Pepe's. We was, we was talking about it, man. I mean, we was talking about it. It's like Perry Ellis. After a while, if we caught you with a pair of them baggy-ass Perry Ellis jeans, we had something to say about it, my nigga. Can't be rocking them Perry's, my nigga. You heard? <laughs> Legend Duffy was really good, bro. I'll see you in the building. But nah, man. The Mountain Gears... Niggas might, niggas might pop on you, son. You might get popped on. You heard? You walking around with a good pair, good brown leather mountain gears, brown pleather mountain gears. Somebody might pop on you for no reason. You just be walking down Fordham Road or something. Nigga might just snuff you. Boo! 
Like, yo, what happened, nigga? Like, nigga got on mountain gears, nigga. What the fuck you doing out here with those? You heard niggas might pop on you, my nigga. But I know a lot of y'all niggas was rocking the Mounties, though, man. Yeah, I was mounting up. <laughs> y'all was mounting up with the mountain gears, my nigga. With the big M on the side. Like, yo, these is a fish, word. These just cost a hundred. Like, nah, son. That hundred ain't getting it, Lord. You want to spend a deuce on those, man. Buck 50 or something, man, to get in the game, man. You heard? See, you in Gore-Tex is a material, so this is how this is how niggas moved in. Like, Tim's came out with Gore-Tex Timberlands. Gore-Tex is a material, but then niggas just started coming out with the straight joints that just say Gore-Tex. I was never rocking those. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you couldn't... You couldn't just have the regular Gore-Tex. Niggas was like, nah, son. But I have seen niggas rocking Gore-Tex, though. Because, you know, you know, it said Gore-Tex. But nah, Lord. Nah, I wasn't rocking the Wu wear, Lord. I ain't even going. I love the Wu-Tang. Love them. But I ain't going to say I rocked some Wu wear, man. I, ain't, I can't say it. I think I was locked up for Wu wear anyway. Never rock lugs, I'm way above. This mic is like the golden gloves versus spark plugs. You heard? I never rock lugs, I'm way above, my nigga. You heard? Damn, but I'm thinking, did my mom send me a pair of lugs one time? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, man. I'm trying to think, man. I think my moms might have tried to send me a pair of lugs up north before. And I just had to hide them shits. I'm not sure, I could be bugging. It could have been one of my mans who got some never rock lug some way above, you heard? But once that nigga ghost said that, never rock lug some way above, I said it's over, nigga. That's fucked up. That's why you gotta be careful, man, cause you can ruin a nigga whole business. Nigga said never rock lug some way above. You know, I ain't never do no LA gears, I'm good. Now, I ain't even gonna hold you. I might've had them catapults. Them LA gear catapults, I think at one time, them shits was hard. You heard? I might have had a quick pair of those and then had to get rid of those, you heard? But I might have had a quick pair of catapults. I'm not sure, though. It could be in my imagination, but I damn sure had them Kevin Johnson React Juices and them Larry Johnson React Juices, definitely. You heard? But I don't know, man. I might have I might have fell for the marketing... I niggas had the marketing plan for catapults, nigga. You you a big 200-pound nigga, and they got a little plastic catapult inside your shit, and we was believing that that shit made you jump higher. Like, we were some dumb niggas in the 90s and the 80s and shit like that. Catapults. How the fuck a little small little thing in your shoe is helping you jump, nigga? That shit ain't helping you jump, nigga. But you couldn't tell me that. You couldn't tell me that with them react juices either, nigga. I actually thought it was some juice stirring up in my shits that was making these shits make you bounce higher, nigga. You couldn't couldn't tell me I wasn't Kevin Johnson, nigga. With them black and purple motherfucking Converse react juices, nigga. Them shits was official. Girl, City Fling, I appreciate that donation, my brother. Appreciate you, man. Digital complexity was populating. Ben Dixon was really good. Baton Rouge was popping. Louisiana was really good. Yeah, man. I mean, I'd be ready to get a pair of Ewans right now. To just to, you know, it's hard to find the regular all black um, low cut. Not low cut joints, but, you know, three quarter joints. It'd be hard to find those, my nigga. But I love them, them Ewans, though. Just to get a reps. I call them shits the just to get a reps. I had those for a fact. I had those. I seen them shits in that just to get a rap video. I had those the next day. I was on picking in Belmont the next day looking for those. I wasn't playing no games. You heard? Good crispy Ewans with that good crispy orange keychain. Nigga, that shit was bouncing off my sneaker, nigga. The next day. I seen that video. I said, that's it, nigga. I'm going to be a stick-up kid and I'm going to get them Ewans, nigga. That's why you a young nigga, man. You got to be careful with your kids watching. So I saw that just to get a rep video. I said, up. Oh, that's what I want to be in life. I want to rob people. I'm got to get me a gun and a pair of Ewans. You heard? That video was too hard, my nigga. 
I said, damn. I got to get me a ratchet. I ain't just not paying attention to the whole fact that nigga gets murdered at the end of the video. I ain't nigga ain't want to hear all of that. I just had to get a burner, nigga. It's on. I need the mewins and I need a burner. Yerp. That's it, yeah, man. Yeah, that was that nigga Lil Dat, man. He played the shit out that video, man. He played the shit out that nigga in that video. He might be loose at the park or lurking at the train station. Mad brothers know his name. So we think he got a little fame for the stick-up game. And while we blame the society, he's at a party with his man. They got the eye on the gold chain that the next man's wearing. It looks good, but he ain't staring. Just thinking of a way and when to get the brother. He'll be long gone before the kid recover. And back around the way, he'll have his chain on his neck. Claiming respect just to get a rap. Boom, boom. Sick up kids is out to tags. Boom, boom, boom. That shit was insanity. That shit was insanity, nigga. Straight up. Way that shit come on, that nigga be like, I want y'all to keep getting paid. Keep getting paid. Throw it in the bag. That shit was crazy, nigga. Go back, look at that video now. You'll be like, oh, shit. Yersh. CT in the building was really good. I'm about to skedaddle. Go get me something to eat, man. I'm starving, my lords. I'm starving, baby. I'm starving, man. I might have to slide down get me a falafel or something crazy or something. I don't know. I'm type hung. Yersh. Nigga hung, man. Yeah, that nigga Pac had the motherfucking... Them 40 belows in that in that in, in the juice, man. Them shits right there. Them shits weigh a hundred pounds, nigga. Them shits a workout. You walking around with them shits all day. Brooklyn niggas used to be having them shits on with shorts, nigga. You seen a nigga with 40 belows with some shorts on. He was from Brownsville. You heard my projects might even started that shit for the whole Brooklyn. I ain't even gonna hold you, my nigga. If you do the history. I mean, I might have to say, I might have to say it was not mean niggas like Bugs and Boo Band, them niggas that started that whole 40 belows and shorts, my nigga. Those niggas was rocking 40 belows with shorts. You heard? Shit was different. Know what I mean? But anyway, man, I'm going to scream at y'all niggas, man. Appreciate y'all niggas, man. I'll be on here tomorrow. Let me double check, make sure they ain't approved that video just in case, even though I know they didn't because it's a... Saturday night and they acting like you know what I mean they ain't gotta be working and all of that on a Saturday night nah that shit still ain't approved they doing me dirty man so when this video gets approved I'll be back up on here to drop this new app Shlurt. let me see something make sure let me make triple sure so I got a monster episode Rikers Island Legends right now Locked and loaded, ready to go. I'm just waiting for these niggas to do what they supposed to do and approve my shills, knit. And that shit is going out, nigga. You heard? It's ugly. Hey, I ain't been hearing no fireworks lately, man. Thankfully, man. Little light shit. Niggas ain't blowing up M80s and shit. I don't know what's going on. I heard they cracking down on them fireworks. They giving niggas debit cards for fireworks in the city. If you were t if you turn in some illegal fireworks, niggas giving you some uh, fucking um debit cards. Niggas be doing niggas dirty online, bro. I feel sorry for celebrities. That's why I'm good, man. Keep my ass on YouTube. <clears throat> Your sh but yeah, man. I'm out of here, man. I'ma holler at y'all dudes later, man. Whenever this episode get approved, we'll pop back up and drop that probably tomorrow. Damn, bone snapping like a gunshot out this bitch. Yo, I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.